Yeah, Gurmag is Kirlock, and yeah, you're welcome, Minister. Thank you for coming in to take this commencement matter, in which I'm asking for uh, a date from your department for the appointment of a design team for the National Monument site at 14 to 17 Moore Street. Minister, it's more than 106 years uh, since the rebels, the 1916 rebels, including Pierce and McDermott and Connolly and Plunkett, surrendered on Moore Street uh, here in the heart of our capital. And it's more than 15 years since those buildings were declared a national monument site. They were declared by the Fianna Fáil-led government back in 2007. From when I was first elected as a city councillor in Dublin City, I've worked with uh, relatives, with traders on the street, with my own colleagues at city council um, to not just protect, but also to seek restoration and commemoration on that site. Um, most recently, um, over a year ago, uh, I was part of, with others, the latest uh, ministerial uh, advisory group, which reported back in May of 2021, our report, the Moore Street Report, Securing History 3, made very practical, pragmatic and um, uh, deliverable um, recommendations. Included in the recommendations were the establishment of an expert group for the market and most importantly endorsement of the Irish Trust proposal for restoration and management of the National Monument and for the operation of that monument. We were really bolstered by the allocation by government of 12 million euros in the urban regeneration funding for the National Monument. But Minister, I don't know if you've been down to Moore Street recently, um, it's shameful. It's just shameful. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking for the traders. It's heartbreaking for the relatives. It's really heartbreaking for anybody who cares about our history, about our state, um, for anybody who visits it. So, Minister, I really do hope that you're coming in here today and you will provide us with a date um, for the appointment of a design team. Because, Minister, when the state neglects such important history, when the state fails to take action to not just protect, but to restore, to commemorate and to celebrate our brave heroes who led to the Republic that we get to enjoy today. It's shameful. Um, so Minister, I hope you have a date for us today. I hope uh, the work will commence soon and I look forward to your reply. Gormagad. Thank you very much, Senator Minister. Um, thanks very much, uh, Cahir, look, and um, I would like to thank uh, Senator Fitzpatrick for raising this. Um, as the Senator is aware, the future uh, of the historic houses at 14 to 17 Moore Street has been fraught with many difficulties over the mess last number of years, and a significant amount of time and effort has been devoted by a large number of people, organisations, state and volunteers to try and resolve some of the issues so that we can make progress. There has been a number of different entities involved in this over the past number of years, including the relatives, uh, the Moore Street stallholders, the Department of Housing, Heritage and Local Government, Dublin City Council, just to name a few, focused on both the historical aspects of the site and the regeneration of the local area for the local community. The Government has rightly had a, fo uh, had a focus on allowing all of these parties to debate the issues and contribute to the solution, and we're pleased that positive conclusions have been reached and forward momentum is now possible. The Government, have, having considered all of the issues involved in having consulted ex extensively with all of the relevant stakeholders throughout the Moore Street Advisory Group process, have, as the Senator will be aware, decided most recently to proceed with a scheme of works to create the Commemorative Centre at 14 to 17 Moore Street and instructed my department, the Office of Public Works, to manage the project. While the Office of Public Works has been creating the site since we were requested by the Minister for Heritage to become involved in 2019, our work up to this point is simply to keep the monument safe and secure it until a decision could be made about its future. We are happy uh, that this process has been successful and that there has been a resolution of the issues that were proving contentious and that the project is now moving forward. In the short term, our focus is on phase one, which are required to stabilise a very fragile structure and create the platform for the provision uh, of the commemorative centre and a visitor experience with them as a second stage par part of the process. As I've indicated recently in the Dáil, my officials in the Office of Public Works are currently making arrangements to resource the project properly and to put necessary supports in place to make a substantive start. The work will be overseen by an expert technical group in the Office of Public Works, led by our Assistant Principal Architect and the Head of Conservation in Dublin, and including others within the Office of Public Works Heritage Services Division, with direct experience of creating and managing appropriate commemorative uh, projects such as Kilmainham Jail Museum and the other visitor facilities at the Pierce Cottage in Connemara. 
This core OPW team of conservation specialists and project managers will be supplemented through the appointment of additional external technical services, uh, including architects, engineers, cost specialists, who will help us to manage the project. OPW hope to conclude the relative formalities with these professionals within the next three to four weeks and will expect to be in a position to make formal appointments immediately thereafter, enabling us to get started on the design preparation works that need to be done before contractors can be engaged and work commenced on the site. Thank you very much. And Minister, Senator Fitzpatrick. Uh, Minister, uh, thank you for your reply. Am I to understand from that that works will commence within the next, that a design team will be appointed within the next three to four weeks? I hope that is what you're saying. Because there's bewilderment, there genuinely is bewilderment as to what is going on. It's over a year since the recommendations, the report was submitted. The recommendations were accepted, they were endorsed. They've been backed with 12 million of public funding. Um, I hope you're saying that uh, a design team of experts will be appointed within the next three to four weeks and that we will see work commence. Because, Minister, I've been in those buildings. I've been in those buildings over the last number of years. And they're, they're old buildings, and sure, they need care and they need sensitive treatment. But their fragility is not to be used as an excuse. They're precious and they need to be preserved, they need to be commemorated. But for as long as they're left there idle, it's just adding to dereliction, and it's making the job of the city council, the city traders, the relatives and the citizens of our city so much harder to regenerate, to occupy that street in a positive way. City council, I chaired the expert group for the future of the market on it. Um, we went out, the City Council went out and advertised. They got one reply, Minister, one reply. Only one operator would come and tender to trade and operate a market on the most prestigious market street in our country. That reflects the lack of confidence that there is in Moore Street at the moment. That's an all-time low. It's something we can't tolerate, it's something we cannot support, and we cannot allow to drift. Minister, I hope you can confirm that within the next month there will be a technical team assigned and works will commence. Gormagut. Senator, Minister. Well, what I can confirm is what I said already, Senator, which is that the OPW are uh, involved in this for the last three years, two of which have been locked down with COVID. Uh, I can also confirm that this has been fraught with issues and the most important thing that we have to do now is stabilise the buildings. Uh, because if, they don't, if we don't, uh, given our experiences of doing work like the Four Courts, the Customs House, Kilmainham Jail and other important buildings all across Dublin, they could be at risk uh, of further erosion or worse. So the, the technical expertise that are available in the Office of Public Works, our first and most important priority at the moment is to make sure that there is no substantive further uh, uh, damage done to those buildings and we have a good history in that. Just in relation to an earlier comment that you made, the OPW have no intention of neglecting our role in this. We have a very proud history in relation to national monuments. But the wider issue around Moore Street and O'Connell Street you're quite right, is a matter for the local authority. And I was up there two weeks ago, and I have to say, it didn't fill me with confidence with what I saw. O'Connell Street is a show, uh, and the streets off of it uh, aren't much better. Um, it's festooned with plastic uh, and everything that should be taken down. And the local authority are failing in their duties to look after the principal street in the principal city uh, of the country. Uh, and our role, um, I think, will, to be quite honest about it, will show up the neglect that has been led by the local authority. Uh, but I wouldn't stand in this room and suggest that for any minute the Office of Public Works have been anything other than respectful to the monument uh, and all of the associated monuments, and we will look after them. The role of the market, the associated street infrastructure, everything like that is primarily a role for Dublin City Council. And I have to say, having walked up there uh, less than a fortnight ago, I was less than inspired. Thank you.